Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom and this is the Dare to Tell Story Show. There was once a great master who went on a long journey. When he decided to rest, he sat under an oak tree and began to meditate. Some hours passed and then a young man approached. He was wearing dirty and torn clothes and he tried to creep up very quietly with a large stick in his hand. The master opened his eyes and welcomed him. He invited him to sit with him and asked what, did, what could he do to help him. The young man said, I don't need any help, I need what you've got, I need some money, I need some, something of worth. And the master paused for a moment and said, well, all I have, and he rustled around in his bag, all I have is this stone, perhaps you might want that. The young man's eyes widened, it was a precious stone, a large precious stone, and as he grabbed it into his hands he could feel the weight and the value of it. The master said to him, you're welcome, have a wonderful day, and the young man ran away. The master went back to his meditation and stayed there for many hours until the sun went down. The following day, as the sun rose, the young man appeared again. This time he came without the stick. The master opened his eyes, looked at him and said, I don't have anything else of value. I have nothing that you would want. And the young man said, there is one thing that I want from you. I want to know how it was that you could give me that stone and the way in which you did it yesterday. You know, I've noticed that we get so caught up in trying to get a certain result that we don't notice the process that we go through in order to get it. We're living in a world where we're so busy and we're, we're always focused on what the outcome is going to be. I see it with my kids sometimes. We tend to celebrate the beautiful drawing instead of looking at the process they've gone through in order to get to the point where they've done the drawing. I love when I watch them play with mud or clay because it's going to disintegrate and the result is actually not that important. In business we tend to be very busy and very focused on what the result is going to be of a particular project. And what we forget about is who we're being. Who we're being as we're going through the project. You know that busy and tired, I notice, has become a kind of a status symbol. Like if I'm really, really busy and I'm really tired and I'm telling that story of how, oh my goodness, I'm exhausted, I've been so busy, that somehow validates that what I'm doing is of value and that it's important. So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to look at the story that you're telling in your business. Is it about rushing around to get the result? Or is it about who you're being? Because if we can focus for a moment on who we're being, the process that we go through in order to get to our results, you'll find that not only will it make your day-to-day -day more pleasant, more enjoyable, but also your results will be so much better. So I'd love to hear this new story. I'd love to hear this new story of who you're being in your business. So please share it. Share it in the comments below. And thank you for being here today. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time on the Dare to Tell Story Show.